speak English. He's educated. So you have to know that education is not just about writing. Uh, you may write in the language, but your language is important. But let's go back to education. What is education? Education, for my little knowledge, is making the child go through a process of learning. So she will acquire knowledge and, and wisdom. And what is that knowledge and wisdom supposed to make you do? To cope with the problems of life. It's not just to have a certificate. An education person is somebody who has enough knowledge of technology principles and so on. Now, the person who wants to educate you, what is he giving to you? The knowledge he or she has. School was a late comer. Education is from parents to children, from society. You know, one of you men, you know, mama, why Education is to be given by everybody, not just your parents. And your parents will speak their language to you. I was reading a research in Kenya by a white woman. She studied black children and white children and came up with the conclusion that white children are more brilliant than black children. But unfortunately for her, she started by saying that before these two children go to school at the age of six, the African child is more knowledgeable than the white. Where did that child get the knowledge from? The education the mother give her. When you have a child, from the day you have your child, you are supposed to educate them. It's not in the school. Education does not start in the school. It starts from the home. So, a child that is born, you cannot leave him without anything until he becomes six. He will be an idiot. But this lady who said that the black child was more brilliant than the white child. I have evidence for it. I was driving from a bad stop at a village, Ibrafo. I wanted to buy a bottle of Coca-Cola. There was a very small girl there. And I asked her, I want a bottle of Coca-Cola how much? She gave me a price higher than the normal price. Ah, so only only my husband is well now. Only can know. That girl has learned. Maybe some bad fetaja. We have to see. And you know, the potential to make more money from you. Moloke, mufulo, moniko lo change wa. Oh no, only a jamo me mo ti shio. Kilo de only te ba jiti me obani change. Kono ni katakata mo sele. Ah, muadro o de be kuri change. And the corner book, what you say? Only change in look, way. Yanny, oh, I go no be more only batting bad, I got a long mamma, and you're doing batting bad, but one. I was, I was forced to ask her. Money class, you know, all over the better school. A modern man, learning a modern mefa. But one got on Bamas or the Connolly. That is an educated child. But to test the white researcher in Kenya. To let her know that she made the conclusion. She said immediately the two children come to class. Um, uh, uh, the, the child of the black will go down. Do you know why? Because the medium of education is English. So and I said, okay, let us put a white child and I mean some white children and black children and teach them Yoruba. The boy will start getting zero. He doesn't know anything. The girl knows every word they say, but when I got to standard one, I started to look for the English of a book, a table. I know that in my calculation. One of the tragedies of Africa today is that when you put a child in the school, if that child starts school at six, she has learned some things in her language. But she goes to school, she has to start learning ABC. She will drop. The time she should be building on education, she will start learning English. I'm not saying, as I said, that she should not learn English. But if you allow 
Ah, to continue. A boy gave me a story in the north. He came for Yukon in the secondary school and discovered that the outside boys were always failing. They don't. The medium of education was English. Though the boy discovered that there's a problem. He was an outside boy. He started teaching them in Hausa. After the first exam, they came first. The problem is that they didn't understand what they were being told in English. Now, there's one thing we have not declared. Learning English and teaching in English. Is it the same thing? English is a subject. But the language your teacher uses the late Professor Fafon Wami, he rest in peace. He started the secondary school in Ife. And the means of instruction from, from 1 to from 5 or 6 was Yoruba. I said, when they took WIKE, they scored A1 in English. English is just one subject. The children will go to class when there's English and study English. But when they do geography, mathematics, and they use Yoruba to teach them. They score highly in all the subjects. They wrote the exam. But the difference I'm making is this. You go to school, English is a subject. You learn it, Abby. But the medium of teaching you is your native language. Will you understand it? The question I want to ask you, do you know any... I think I've raised that question. Tell me any nation in Europe that uses English to teach their children. The Germans, do they teach in English? The German children take English in school. But the medium of teaching, of explanation, of letting the children know what they know is their native language. So what I am saying is this. You go to English, you have mathematics, the teacher will teach you and go. You have geography, you have biology, chemistry. What we are saying, the teacher must use your Yoruba to teach you all those disciplines. But you go to English, you must speak English and you take the exam in English. So the difference is that asking you to have English as a subject is different from saying using English to teach you all subjects. Because the explanations in your, in your language will make you understand more. So. Let us go back. To educate a child is to make her have knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge and wisdom limit to you in your language sticks better. You understand? That does not mean you should not take exam in English as a discipline. The question I'm asking you, more than me, girls school. The experiment was successful. The children did well in English. They did well in all disciplines because your brother was used. Why did we stop it? They are not doing it anymore. Why didn't we make sure that today, when you have secondary school, I'm not saying you should not read English books, so, but it's hard to explain to you what this means. Let him use your language. That's my problem. We can speak English, but education is to transmit knowledge, wisdom, and capacity. Now, that's a fundamental question. Now, you have gone to the University of Lagos. Be a honest philosophy. Please, what does it qualify you to do? Be a honest philosophy. What does it qualify you to do? Be a C engineering. What does it qualify you to do? Be a C accounting. Let me tell you, when you do accounting at the University of Lagos, be a C, you are a clerk. When you go to your yeah, college of education and do a C, be a C accounting, you are an accountant. The universities are for learning theories, no practical. So when you go to the university and you have a certificate, you are holding. The question is, what does it qualify you to do? So if I want to employ you, I want you to do something for me. What can you do? I have a friend. We were in the U.S. together. He did the MSc political science. He wanted to wait and do PhD. So he went to the factory to work. They said they can come tomorrow. He came the next day. They gave him envelopes to fold. After one day, he went back. He said, I cannot do that job. They said, why? He said, I have MSc political science. What does it qualify you to do? Your children are out today with certificates. What can they do? 
They cannot service their car. They have certificate because they can memorize Plato and Karl Marx. Who needs Karl Marx? And they, I can employ you to sell my books. Karl Marx is not going to tell me how to do it. Now, education is supposed to function. Knowledge and wisdom to sell. Knowledge, uh, nothing. So literacy is what I'm going to do in the university. Education that is not relevant. So giving you the capacity to manage affairs of your life and the environment. The organizer is better. The tailor is better. The biscuit maker is better. He has no certificate. What can you do?